Welcome to day 512. It's 11.55 a.m. I uh, came home for lunch and I've got to be heading back in about 20 minutes. Today's supposed to rain, get some spring rains here, green everything up even more. And I think by this time of the year, this is the nicest yard and the nicest weather and the nicest everything that we've had. Look at this. It's May 11th and it looks like friggin' July around here. This stuff last year didn't come up until late May, and now it's been up for a month or maybe even two, and it looks kind of ratty. I've got to get in here and trim some, some of this stuff out, fix the mulch over here, straighten bricks out. I don't think I am going to mulch this, but this is what I did yesterday. Now you can see the hose and everything's here, and that's where the water comes up, the first pipe closer to me. And then there's a T in there. It comes over to this hose to do the west side of the property and then goes down there and out 200 feet on that side of the house to do the east end of the property. But I got four bags in here, so now that looks nice, matches the rest of it. I've got a bag and a half here that once we get this weeded and planted with flowers, we'll probably throw that in there. I've got tons of leaf work and tree trimming and stuff to do over here. These are all um, perennials, so they come up every year. My mom worked out here a little bit yesterday on this garden, got a lot of the leaves out, some of the soil's ready to be planted, so then we've got to do that, and mulch and stuff, but um, we're doing pretty well for this time of the year. Uh, I remember my dad always pushed really hard in, in April and May to get stuff done around the house, and I never figured out why he was so anal about it, but then I, now I know. I understand now, because I want to get all this shit done now, so when June rolls around, actually May 28th or something, and the pool opens, I want to go sit at the pool and not have to spend, like yesterday, six or seven or eight hours outside cutting up wood and trees and mowing and, and preparing the patio and the gardens and stuff and the landscaping. So, makes sense, Dad. Update on the pressure washer. My dad took it yesterday. One of the washers that hold that compresses the spring on the push valve and the overhead valve assembly broke. We fixed that and then we lost the intake, no, the exhaust push rod fell down in the camshaft. So we had the thing upside down. As you can see, I still have to clean up oil, trying to get the push rod out of the crankcase. And we did not succeed. So we figured it's still in the crankcase. So my dad took it over to a friend of his who works on little motors. They took the head off, took everything apart. It's not in there. It's not in the crankcase. So it must have come out here. That's what he told me. So I'm out here with a light last night, and now today in the daylight, looking in the cracks of the driveway all over the place for this little $3.50 eight inch metal push rod for the exhaust valve and it is gone, it's completely disappeared. So we ordered another one, I gotta pick it up Wednesday and then that should get me a working power washer that I can finish the sidewalk with. At least that's what we hope. I spilled oil there too, so I'm gonna have to get gas and clean that up, but you can see the, patty, or the front sidewalk is now white as opposed to the disgusting brown, black mold mildew from last spring's monsoon. Uh, color that it was before. It looks really nice. It took a lot of time for me to get all the way up here, but I got everything done until these two squares. Now this one, it's, it's kind of a diffusion into that one because I came out here with bleach and tried to do it that way and that's not going to work. But look at that. The color of that is just disgusting in comparison with that. So I've got to get a working power washer over here to fix it. And uh, that'll be the goal for this week, I hope. Something else I need to do this week is get the freaking uh, squeaky wheels fixed on the car. It's supposed to just piss down rain here from, I think, like 2 to all the way into tomorrow morning. So I would rather, one, not drive the car because it's clean, and two, I want to be able to have the windows down so you can easily hear the noise coming from both front wheels. And you can't really hear it with the windows up, and I'm not having windows down when it's raining. So if it's not raining at about 2 o'clock when I'm done this afternoon, I'll take it over. I'll see what they say. They told me to drive it for a while last time. I put 300 miles on it. It's no different. So uh, I don't know what it is. I, I came to think it's maybe the aluminum dust shield behind the rotor here. You know, there's a, a just an aluminum circle back there that's that's weak and not really secured well on all cars. I've never. Why can't they figure out how to put those on strongly? Anyways, maybe they put that on backwards or it's hitting against something. It is speed dependent. It's just very annoying with windows down. So they better be able to fix that when I take it over today if it's not raining or tomorrow. Don't think it's going to rain tomorrow afternoon. Anyways, though, no complaints about the weather right now. It's about 71 degrees and a little windy, pretty much overcast, but that's all right. That's what spring's about. You know, April and May showers bring May and June flowers, right? So. That's fine, we've already got a couple little things planted and, and that looks really ridiculous in that pot. But in a week I'll show you, it'll be three times that size. Here's what's left of my power washer, just the handles here. This is the uh, air filter which is not clean but that would not explain why it wouldn't run at all and the housing for that and the hose and some big ass bug fell down. Look at these things, they're huge. And they just fly in here and die so that's really annoying. And there's the gas tank. 
Clever, oh, there's that spider. See it? Yeah, freaking huge. Talking about more work from yesterday, this is the chainsaw that we attempted to use to cut that, um, the big tree that fell across the creek. We got the three smaller ones cut down and chopped up that were dead, but this one isn't big enough to get enough leverage on the big ash tree that fell down. So my grandfather's got a still, it's quite a bit larger than that, he's gonna bring that over this week or weekend, and we're gonna go back there and cut that up, because it looks like crap, and somebody we know, I think, wants the ash wood, so we'll get that out of here soon. Oh, it's about friggin' time this guy cleans his wheels up. But who does he think he is driving a BMW with dirty wheels? Jesus. I always strategically place myself and my vehicle next to other cars that might be considerate and not slam doors into cars. So I got, I got, I think I got a good guy on one side here in the X3 with Michelin pilots on his, his car, but I got a blue Focus over here, and we all know those goddamn Focus drivers don't know how to drive worse shit. Hey guys, what's up? I got some work done this afternoon. I did say I was gonna take the car over it didn't start raining till 6 and I just missed it so she's still clean and at least until tomorrow morning but I did take the car over they looked at it for about 30 minutes or so trying to figure out why it was squeaking they drove it described it as a chirping sound and essentially concluded that it's my brake pads they are not the kind of pads that should be on those kind of rotors when I put those pads on I had the stock OEM E39 M5 front rotors and they worked for that but these are uh, performance slotted street rotors and it's just not the right kind of pad. They said it was a, a partially metallic finish or something on the pads that wasn't right. Um, and that, since they turned the rotors down, isn't working because they took the, um, the gauze, I think they called it, off of the rotor when they turned them. So they recommended, I talked to this guy, he has two BMWs, he drives a 325 daily uh, around town and then his, his fun car is a 328 that he has put a M3 engine in, the 4.4 V8, 414 horsepower. And he's made it a track car, you know, lightweight and everything. Um, so he's a big BMW guy. He knows all the stuff. He used to work for ECS Tuning. Uh, he vastly prefers Turner Motorsport, which is good because that's where the rotors came from. Um, so anyways, he recommends the uh, Hawk rotors or pads. So I found those online uh, from Tire Rack. I ordered them. They're going to be here Wednesday. They were $140 or something like that for front pads. I'm going to take them in for 100 bucks. They'll put them on. I know I could do it myself. Last time I did brake work myself, let's say it didn't turn out the way I didn't do it, my dad did. This car is a pain in the ass to work on. So hopefully by Wednesday I'll have those put on and that should shut up the squeaking and stuff. And they said that that's why these rotors warped in addition to the front failed strut. Um, and also because the, the pads aren't optimized for the rotors. It makes sense. You don't put one and two together and apples and oranges together and expect to get anything good. So. There's the first thing I did this afternoon. As you can see, maybe by the rain on the window, it's rained all afternoon. We had severe thunderstorms, tons of thunder and lightning. And uh, in my office, it sounded like a waterfall was coming down the front stairs. So I looked outside and all the spoutings were overflowing. And if you remember, about a month or two ago, I said in the vlog, so I need to get up there and clean my spoutings out before it rains and I have to go out and do the annual tradition of doing it in thunder and lightning and getting soaking wet. Well, that's exactly what I did. I took an aluminum ladder out in the middle of a lightning storm, got up there and pulled out like three car wash bucketfuls of just crap, leaves and seed pods and all kinds of stuff. So I got the spoutings flowing right on the south end of the house all the way down here. There's a junction there where it goes down. All the way over there, there's another junction that goes down from down spout there. So I got that stuff clean. I have to do the front maybe tomorrow and then the other side maybe tomorrow too. I don't know, weather depending. So I did that. I was soaking wet. It was quite honestly a very miserable job. I think I see that big spider under the gas tank over here. No, that's a bug. So anyways, that was my day. I'm going to wrap this up pretty quickly. It's 1130. I want to be in bed by 12. So that's it. That part sucked. It's good to get progress on the car. Those parts will be in Wednesday and uh, hopefully that will fix that. So that's it today. Um, a lot of me talking and explaining stuff. I do apologize for that. Day 512, talk to you in 513.